from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. South African original equipment manufacturer JA Engineering has, in partnership with Czech Republic OEM Ferrets, launched a new heavy-duty utility vehicle for use in underground mining. Darren Parker tells us more. Ferret, through local partner JAE, has introduced the DVU to South African mining. This development comes on the back of the recently announced partnership between the two companies to advance product innovation. DVU is a, the word DVU is actually a Czech word, Czech, Czech Republic word, that means a utility vehicle. Okay, so that's what it means. We still have to give it an African name and we are going to give it that name. Uh, the DVU as a utility vehicle, in South Africa we don't have, or in Southern Africa, we don't have um, a robust, specialized piece of equipment that moves people and material and that is solely, solely designed from scratch to actually for that purpose. So what we have done is that we have partnered with Ferret, a company from the Czech Republic, that have already developed a DVU, a utility vehicle. And what are the advantages of this utility vehicle is that it comes in a normal uh, utility vehicle that is used in the mining industry is that you usually use a double cap bucket and you then modify it in terms of the robs and the fobs uh, to make it compliant for, for the mining industry. But this one comes in already with those features uh, built into it and it's of military background and with 4x4 capabilities uh, designed into it. Uh, what it means is that it's, um, it's a utility vehicle that can also be rebuilt. So if you use a double cap bucket, it's a once-off use in the mine. When it breaks down or at the end of its life, it means you need to dispose of it. Now, when we talk about uh, recycling in South Africa and the green effect, is that our DVU, it means that you are going to deploy it in the mines, use it, and when it has come of ages and it has done a certain number of hours, you are then able to bring it back to us such that, so that we can refurbish it and bring it to a new status again. Then you can reuse the, the, the utility vehicle. And then you've got JA Engineering with our state-of-art facility here, which is then going to take care of the service people, servicing the unit, making sure that there's the parts available for that, for the whole of Southern Africa. So that's what it's, it's all about. So we're bringing in a new, totally new concept, something that is totally designed from scratch uh, specifically to cater for this, which will help in the mines in terms of safety and which is something that is purpose built for that. So number one feature is that it needs to carry personnel and you can carry about 15 people in the DVU in a safe manner, the safest possible manner that you can do underground or even on surface, okay? But it's not only for that. It's a multi-vehicle, multi-purpose uh, utility vehicle. So you can do things like, you know, you can put in a cassette at the back where you, it turns out to be a flatbed so that you can carry stuff on it. Or you can put in another cassette at the back that will then turn it into a crane that you can use underground. You can put in another cassette at the back that will say, okay, you want to have a drum that keeps, that takes lubricants onto, I mean, to the, to the, to the coal face or to the ore face, uh, then you can turn it into that. And it's just a plug and play kind of, kind of a, a feature that we have with that. So it's a multi-purpose vehicle. It's unlike the ones that we have where if it's a people carrier, personal carrier, it's a once, it's, it's designed only for that. But this one, you can use it as in for people, you can use it as in for the crane, you can turn it into a, a carrier for the lubricants, or you can take it, turn it into a carrier for fuel and, and all that. So it's, you're getting multiple opportunities with just one piece of equipment. So that's why I'm saying that it's a unit that we're so excited about that it's going to revolutionize the, the way mining operates, how we carry material and people in the mining environment. The robust 110 horsepower vehicle was designed to withstand the most challenging mining conditions and was introduced to address concerns raised by regulators, mining companies and unions regarding the safe transportation of workers and equipment on mining sites. 
The 4.9 ton vehicle can deliver payloads of up to 1.6 tons using an 82 kilowatt Cummins B4.5 stage 3A turbocharged diesel engine with direct fuel injection. Its design is based on the concept of military grade utility vehicles and is well adapted to traverse unpaved roads and off-road terrain. It is also capable of overcoming water obstacles. The machine features a rollover and falling object protective structure cabin, spring brakes with hydraulic release, an electronic control system, comfortable suspension seats and an automatic extinguishing system. The vehicle can also be equipped with several optional extras such as a reversing camera, air conditioning and heating systems as well as a camera system, data logger, methane meter and a variety of other equipment upon request. The version that we've sent to Jay Engineering and you're going to have opportunity to see today is the version equipped with the diesel engine Cummins, uh, 90 kilowatts and uh, stage 3 emission standard. Uh, this uh, current version serves for the maintenance in, uh, in mines, in ore mines. Uh, it's a classic version of vehicle, we call the classic version because it's not designed for the dangerous environments. So it's uh, designed for, to be used in ore mines. And uh, as already Matimba said, we manufactured those vehicles in several versions. Personal carrier can carry up to uh, 15 people. In an enlarged version, it can carry up to 18 people. Uh, to India, uh, we are currently supplying 20 pieces of dead vehicles in the version of mobile workshop, equipped with a hydraulic arm with a load capacity, I think, 1.5 tons, and all other accessories, welding unit, and uh, generator, and, and, and so on. Uh, this is one actually of the biggest advantages of this of this concept of this vehicle. It's very modular, you know. So according to the particular requirement, particular need of every customer, we can very swiftly add, you know, the accessories that is that is required. So uh, I believe that uh, on the field of utility vehicles, it can be a game changer, really game changer. We have in operation uh, dozens of these vehicles worldwide and uh, we want to use that know-how and that experience is also uh, coming to South African market. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.